Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamteni ve allimni bima yenfa'ni ve zidni elmen ünnekel alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrejna min zulumatil vahm ve akrimna bi nuril fahm ve afta alayna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhel ahlakana bil hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is about lumbosacral transitional vertebra. Lumbosacral transitional vertebra it is a relatively common variant and it is seen in about 25% ranging from 15 to 35 percent in general population and non-recognition of this variant or both description of the it in the report can lead to operation or procedure performed along level so Lumbosacral transitional vertebra are often inaccurately detected and classified in a B radiograph and MRI. The use of whole spine images as well as ge geometric relationship between sacrum and lumbar vertebra increase the accuracy. Sacralization and lumbarization are congenital anomaly of the fifth of the fifth lumbar L5 and the first two sacral segment S1 and S2. The anomalous segment are frequently referred to transitional vertebra vertebrae. Lumbarization occurs due to non-fusion of the first two sacral segments, allowing the lumbar spine to have what appear to be six segments. The sacrum appears to have four segments rather than its five segments, normal five segments. Sacralization Okay, when one of both transverse process of L5 fuse with the first sacral segment or rarely the idiom. This may be unilateral or bilateral and frequently it is a bilateral as sacralization occur in about 4% as many as to 36%. Here we will concentrate on the sacralization in this talk. Clinical finding, it is controversial as the whether of these anomalies co can cause pain. It is theorized that they may be cause may be produce abnormal mechanics which can lead to pain, but this it is not proven because many people have transitional vertebrae and are asymptomatic. Imaging finding we will discuss in the following images as we see the sacralization, we will concentrate on it on the following images and with some of the CT scan. Castell-V Castell -V classification. We have four types. Type 1, it is enlarged and dysplastic transverse process of L5. And it is at least 19 millimeter. Can be unilateral or can be bilateral. And here, this is the dysplastic process, a transverse process of L5, more at least 19 millimeter. 
It is type 1A, type 1B, it is bilateral. As we see here, type B, type 1B with in more than 19 millimeter invo involving both transverse process of L5, but no articulation with the sacrum. Type 2, there is a pseudo articulation of the transverse process with the sacrum with incomplete lumbarization or sacralization. Enlargement of the transverse process can, with pseudoarthrosis can be unilateral or bilateral. It, so type B, it is enlargement of the transverse process of L5, either bilateral or bilateral or unilateral. As we see here, this is the L5 vertebra, and we see the pseudoarthrosis with enlargement of the transverse process of L5 on the left side. This is type 2A. Here, another example a patient with type 2A with enlargement of transverse process on the right side with pseudoarthrosis. Here, Another example, CT uh, AB uh, view, spot view, we have pseudoarthrosis on the right with enlargement of transverse process on the right side. And the uh, right, left, left side, there is enlargement of transverse process of the type 1 A. Here, the MRI images with type 2A, and we see the pseudoarthrosis on the left side with enlargement of transverse process on the left side of L5. Here, this is a patient with the transverse pseudoarthrosis on the left side. And we see also a fusion of the FC lateral of the facet joint and hypoplastic contralateral facet joint at the L5S1. Here, another patient with uh, type one A, type two A, with pseudoarthrosis on the right side, and there is this uh, protrusion at that level with a new left here. Here, this is type 2, as we see enlargement of both the transverse process of uh, L5 with pseudoarthrosis with sacrum. Another patient with CT scan with bilateral pseudoarthrosis and enlargement of the transverse process of L5 with pseudoarticulation. Type 3, the transverse process if used with the sacrum. There is complete lumbarization or sacralization in large transverse process with complete effusion. There is complete effusion of the transverse process of L5 with the sacrum. If it is unilateral type A, if it is bilateral type B. As we here, we see there is the enlargement of the transverse process on the left side with almost complete effusion on the left side. Uh, this is type 3A. Here, there is complete effusion of the, of the transverse process with the sacrum. This is type 3A. Here, bilateral effusion of the transverse process on bilaterally or with the sacrum 
and this is type 3b and here this is the ct scan or coronal and there is a fusion of the both uh, uh, transversal process with the sacrum in another patient here the same patient with the ct scan and we see the volume rendering ct of type 3b with complete osseous fusion of the transverse process to the sacrum type 4 type uh, it is type 2a it is seed arthrosis in one side and a fusion on the other side as we here see here enlargement of the transversal process with seed arthrosis here and a fusion on the other side To complete Bertou Luthi syndrome, it is a, a referred to association between lumbosacral transitional vertebrae and low back pain and can be an important cause in young patients. But it is controversial about it. And Mario Bertou Luthi, who first described it in 1917. And some studies suggest that type 2 and type 4 positively correlated with the prevalence and severity of the low, low back pain and buttock pain. And it is, they said it is affect 4 to 8 percent of population and it is as I said it is it is controversial between the literature. MRI is useful to be done to know from where is the radicular pain come. This is our references here. And thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.